Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another toy photography video. In today's video, I've got R2-D2 and Atmosphere Aerosol. Let's see what we can create. All right, so you guys have seen my diorama, the what I created here in my backyard, and I try to use it as much as I can uh, nowadays because I built it, why not use it? So today's video, I've got the new Target exclusive uh, R2-D2, which I think would look really good with my TIE Fighter, but I'm also gonna be looking at uh, some atmosphere aerosol. now. I've used this in the past, not for toy photography, but for normal photography. It's been out for a while, it's a really great product. Uh, there's a little bit of a breeze blowing right now, so I don't know how it's gonna transition, but we're gonna give it a shot. As far as gear goes, I've got my Canon 7D Mark II. I will be shooting with a remote trigger uh, today, so that way I can actually, uh, spray the aerosol and just click the photos with my remote trigger. So tell you what, let's get R2 unboxed, get him set up, take some photos. All right, so I got old R2 unboxed right here. And as you can see, he looks really, really cool. I love this weathering and everything on him, but he has the base that doesn't pop off, which I'm not a big fan of. So the first thing we need to do is actually get him set up where I think I want him as, as far as the shot goes. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna wind up having to bury the actual uh, base. So we'll sit there and do a little bit of a, a hole right here. And this is the tricky part is like getting them buried and then getting the base covered up enough to where it actually looks good. So I don't know. It rained the other day, so the ground is still a little bit on the uh, moist side. Let me change the angle of this for you real quick. There we go. There we go. That looks better. So basically the frame I'm looking at is basically a straightforward shot. Got the TIE Fighter in the background. R2's just, you know, doing his thing. So right now, I'm just trying to take some of this loose stuff. So if you don't want to get your pops dirty, um, this is probably not for you. <laughs> but it'll come off. It'll wash off. So that's looking pretty good right there. Let me squish some of these down like that take some of these bigger ones in the front all right all right let me uh let me show you what i'm seeing and the angle that i'm going at and then that way you guys can sort of understand my thought process all right so here's the actual angle let me show you guys the base is not completely covered in dirt but i think i can get away with it because the angle that I'm gonna be shooting at is something like this. So I think this will work. And I'm hoping that the atmosphere aerosol will actually flow right in this area here. So let me get the camera set up and we'll uh, take some photos. All right, so got the camera set up, got my trigger set up. So the first thing I wanna show you is actually I'm gonna keep this view so you can actually see the actual atmosphere aerosol. So basically right here, let me, uh, let me do a little test burst right here. Like I said, the wind is blowing a little bit. So I'm probably gonna be sort of timing this in between bursts of wind, but I've already got him framed up, got RT framed up. So let's, uh, let's see what we can come up with here. All right, here we go. I'm gonna make sure that the can's not the frame. The wind has died down. Not bad. All 
Let's see what that turned out. No, that's not terrible at all. No, not, not bad at all. Let me take another couple of shots and... Let's see what we got going on here. So far... Yeah, okay. Tell you what, let me... Um, let me flip the camera around. I'll show you what the image looks like. All right. So let me show you this real quick. So this is actually an image that I just took after. So this is without any atmosphere aerosol. And that's with. So let me scroll back through these because I just did a little rapid fire on them. But you can see how the cloud is basically right there at the TIE Fighter. It actually looks pretty good. So, uh, yeah, I'm digging this. Let me flip, the, uh, let me get the camera set back up and we'll shoot some more. All right, guys. So, I figured uh, I'll let you sort of see the process here. So, remote trigger, really cool button. Here we go. Ready? Boom. All right. So, I'm going to try to blast some right here at the TIE Fighter and just see if it actually hovers or mellows out. There's no wind blowing right now at the moment, so. Let's see what we got. And this is, this is trial and error here. I mean, there's a, uh, you can have it where it flows in the front, flows in the back. So it's entirely up to you how you use this stuff. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna spray it back towards the actual foil on the TIE Fighter. here let's check this out and again if you have any wind blowing at all it, it's a little difficult i'm not gonna i'm not gonna lie to you that's looking pretty good though so it's almost like you need to sort of see how it's flowing and everything so it's it's a it's a fun adventure what i'm looking for is less in front and more in the back i always take a test shot between that gives me a clean one I love having a diorama in the backyard. I just, it just means I don't got to go. I just got to walk out the backyard and take photos. All right, let me get things set up. I'm going to, the wind is actually picking up a little bit. So let me set things up a little different and I'll be right back. We're back. All right, so what I've done now is I've actually switched to portrait, which I basically turned my camera where it's orientated for a portrait shot. Uh, I want R2 here. I want a little bit more of the X-Wing foil right there. But if you notice, I took my other uh, foil and I'm using it sort of as a, almost like a bounce card in a way. So the wind is, it's died down a little bit. So let's take some photos, shake it up. It's literally rapid fire. It is rapid. Uh, 
see the wind's picked up just a little bit so it's dissipating a lot quicker all right let's see what we got all right i'm digging it let's see what that one looks like when the wind when the wind's picking up you can actually go in more of a direct approach and this is where a shutter release is really handy because once you get the subject focused once you get your background composition everything like that and you're doing things like this i don't have to look anymore in the camera it's already set up so i just come back in here to look make any kind of small tweaks Move this over just a hair like that. Take a test shot, composition. Everything looks great before this. Winds die down. So this time I'm going to use a continuous small stream pointed right back at the corner and uh, take photos. I'm just making sure my hand's not in the frame. Oh. Oh yeah. We're getting there. Tell you what, let me uh let me show you what it looks like. All right, so let's take a look at some photos here. So All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it back in sequence. And we'll see, you'll be able to see how the actual atmosphere aerosol works. So you, you can see up here the counter. So you can sort of keep track and see the fog effect, how it changes. Like right there, you saw like big cloud right there, starts to dissipate. Moves up again. So boom, right in there. So it's one of those things to where it's definitely trial and error. And again, the wind is blowing really hard right now. So it's actually picked up. So it makes it harder. So tell you what, I'm going to take a few more shots and I'll be right back. All right. So I've changed the camera angle. So now the camera angle is going more up like this. And it actually looks pretty cool. I'm um, seeing the cockpit of the TIE fighter, a big chunk of the foil. Uh, so yeah, let's get some atmosphere, see what we can create, because the wind's not blowing. Try this side here, and, and work your angles. Work your angles. Not bad, not bad. So, yeah. Atmosphere aerosol, a Funko Pop, and a camera. Do something a little different. Uh, but I think that's going to be it for this video, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Definitely let me know in the comments what you think. Um, if there's anything that, you know, this is this can is still it's still about half full and i've used quite a bit of it um i'll put a link to where you can pick some of this stuff up at but uh like i said this is the first time i used it for my toy photography and as you can see i used a funko pop you don't need to have an action figure to do something a little creative so but guys that's it i didn't say it at the beginning of the video so i'm gonna say it right now if you're new to my channel please make sure and hit that subscribe button Make sure you got notifications turned on. That way you'll know when I do things like this. And always remember, toys and having fun with them refreshes your soul. And I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.